This breakdown video we're talking about is available on Vince Russo's channel. So if you're looking for it on Stevie's channel, you're going to find a bunch of great fitness stuff on there. It's on Vince Russo's channel. Why is it living on Vince Russo's channel? Well, besides the fact that, you know, if you look at it from a business sense, my fitness channel could potentially split the audience. I am aware that there are wrestling fans that support anything that, yeah, that's a great thing about wrestling fans, by the way, they do get well, like a bad rap. If wrestling fans want to support you as a talent or even a company, whatever projects you do, even if it doesn't have to do a wrestling, there's a percentage that will yeah. just support you no matter what. So I have to thank them for that. But from a business sense, Vince Russo has pretty much 100% of a wrestling fan demographic. And on a personal note, you know, and this is something we talked about a little bit off camera on a personal note, you know, Vince gets such a bad rap. I, I don't understand it. I still don't understand it to this day. And I'm a guy who worked in WWE with him, worked in TNA with him. And then obviously I work with him on the Raw SmackDown review with him and Bim Hameen. But when this infection happened, the one person, you know, there's people that reached out almost every day, but Vince, like every single day or multiple times per day, reaching out, checking on me, praying for me, um, talking to me, trying to cheer me up, telling me don't, because I kept saying, man, maybe if I put a few pillows under me, I could still do the shows <laughs> from the <laughs> hospital. And he was like, no, don't do that. Um, also on another note, which he didn't have to do at all. And I kept telling him he didn't have to do it. He paid me the entire time. Wow. But he paid me for not doing the shows, but the personal part of it, the him calling. And even now he checks on me like yesterday to tell me not to overtrain. So overtraining is still awesome, but I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, but, I think people people still think that Vince Russo is the character. I think that they, you know, all the things that he did in WCW, WWE, TNA, I think people go, I don't like him because of this or that. Yeah, I mean, I, I still joke with him and say like infection on a pole match or something, you know, like <laughs> jokes like that. But but seriously, it's just like I've known Vince. You can keep laughing at that. And I can say IV Paul, IV Paul on a pole. How's he, that? he loves pole matches. <laughs> He tried to, I, he's he on my show, I think next week. That much. He's not, it's just like, hey, the Paul match is just like, it's so funny because they were doing them in Men. I watched Memphis wrestling. They were doing them almost every month sometimes at one point. So, and don't quote me on that. They weren't every 30 days. People were like, right. who's every 50 days, you liar. So, uh, <laughs> but. Would, would he's Vince, on my show in like uh, 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 next week, I think. We've already recorded it. And we were talking about all the matches on a pole. He's like, oh, bro, I only did like three of them. I'm like, well, it was a little more than three, but okay. <laughs> Don't ever give it an exact number to anybody in wrestling. You'll be it. <laughs> but, uh, but with Vince too, I've been friends with him. I mean, I remember talking to him when I was in ECW and he was writing for the magazine before he was writing the TV. Right, yeah. Both. We both actually in our in our time have managed our own video stores back when they were competing with Blockbuster before there was a Netflix or anything. So Vince and I would talk about movies and talk about video games and other stuff. So we were friends way, way outside the realm of talking anything about wrestling. And he didn't hire me. He's the one that got me my job in 99 in WWE. It was like right before he left for WCW. But we talked long before he even came to me with the idea of going to uh, WWE because I already had the WCW run and then I was working the Indies after I had neck surgery. So we were talking during that whole time and never even brought up like, hey, can you get me in? Or, hey, do you, do you have what, you know, you think you're good to go to come into WWE? Never talked about it until probably two months before I went there.